Hey, how y'all doing? Home here, and welcome back to some more Elden Ring boss guide. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to take down the Erdtree Avatar, aka the Stray Demon. <laughs> For those of you guys that play Dark Souls, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, overhead, you can dodge it by rolling into it. Get one, two, three, four hits in the stomp. You can either block it or dodge into it. This one has a two hit combo, so be careful. If you want, you can block the second hit and then get a counter attack. Um, I have yet to drop this guy to land a crit, so I don't know if it's a thing that it doesn't have or what. It's also missing a hit. So, yeah, let's go over the attacks a little bit more. Uh, the jump attack, the, the butt slam, you want to be careful because it shoots out that rotten miasma thing. Which, even like the initial splash if you get touched by it, it will damage you and if it builds up it's like poison it will constantly sap your health okay so be careful about this I like to just strafe to the side and if it doesn't spam it you'll be fine if it spams it like that you kinda have to watch and hope that the previous one is already gone if not just run around uh, okay two hand and then sweep afterwards this is a bad area I couldn't even see what was happening okay let's let's get back to the open area so I can see what the hell you're doing sweep okay one two counter attack I'm just trying to trying to see if I can down this guy right here but like I said it's, I don't know if it works all right more butt slam my asthma spew so we're just gonna run away because I don't want to be dealing with that even on mount if you're in that smoke it will hurt you and your mount, so be careful. If it stabs the its axe to the ground like that, get ready to dodge all this. You can dodge all these um, magic arrow things by just simply running, strafing left or right. Okay, so it's pretty easy to dodge. Or if you want to play it safe, you can also go back, go on your mount, and you can get around the tree and use that to block the arrows soul arrows or whatever you want to call them so yeah you can fight this guy on mount it's just I feel like it's not ideal because the mount moves a little bit too fast and this guy is a little bit too small for the mount all right some more miasma stuff and it's also doing that one okay so we're gonna use the mount and kind of just dodge it Woo! wow it's just spamming that and it also has an initial AOE blast before it sends out all these things. So when you see them put the stab the staff to the ground, stab the staff to the ground. Get ready to dodge away. All right, the butt slam. Gonna just get a little bit of distance. Oh my god! Yeah, this fight can be a little bit annoying. Oh, by the way, if you run away too far. But if you're still in the arena and it cuts out the boss HP, because sometimes it will disengage the boss. Uh, don't worry about it, because see how it disengaged the boss? The health is still the same, so don't worry if, like, the health is not going to reset, so, you know, you don't have to worry about that. And then, alright, let's see what we got, alright. My asthma, just run around him. Get behind his butt area, get a few more hits in. If it spams it like that, like, if it does it twice then just run away on the second time because the first one won't like disappear that quickly and you don't want to be running into the fog and also if it's back it's like by a wall or something like that run away when it does this the butt slam okay oh god all right here we go time to dodge it by just strafing one way it doesn't matter, like I said, you can go left or right, whichever is like more convenient and won't get you killed. Because this area is kind of tight, especially when the jars are all there. Um, you're going to want to try to bait the boss to break most of them if possible so you can have a bigger arena. Because with the jars all, uh, all around the place, it can make getting around and dodging its attacks a lot more difficult. And you can also like get your freaking vision all obscured and stuff. You know, like if a jar breaks or something, it blocks like half the screen. Like what happened to me earlier. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the Erdtree Avatar. 
Uh, hopefully this video has helped you guys out if you're having trouble against this guy. Uh, these are the items it drops upon defeating him. And yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, here are my weapon stats, my talismans, and my actual stats, if you're curious. So yeah, thank you all so very much for watching, and I hope to catch you all next time. Holmes, oops.